The Jungle Effect really is a story that started in my medical practice in San Francisco with a patient named Angela who came in telling me that in San Francisco she had all these chronic health problems. She uh, was overweight, she was suffering from depression, her knees hurt, um, she, her blood pressure was starting to go up, her blood sugar was starting to go up. And then she went back to her family village in Brazil on the banks of the Amazon River for a couple months. She had gone back there actually because one of her very elderly uncles had died. She went back for the funeral. And while she was there, she noticed that all the health problems that she had in San Francisco got better. And then she came back to San Francisco and sure enough, within a couple months, everything started to get bad again. And she came into my medical office in San Francisco to tell me the story and to ask me, what was it that had caused this jungle effect? As luck will have it, about six months later, I took time with my family to go down and replace a little tiny a doctor who was working in a little tiny village, actually in Peru, but about two days slow boat ride up the Amazon River from where my patient Angela had been. And this is a village in the middle of nowhere. You can only get there by boat. Everything that's produced is produced locally. The only local industry in the village is a rum distillery with a horse who walks around the circle. And as I was there and working in this little remote clinic, uh, relieving the local doctor, I noticed that I was seeing all kinds of interesting new medical problems that I don't see in San Francisco. I was seeing snake bites and machete wounds and malaria. But even amongst the most elderly patients, I was not seeing the illnesses that I see every day in San Francisco, the heart disease, the diabetes, the cancers, the depression, you know, the types of what I call modern chronic health problems, the kinds of problems that were afflicting Angela. And I started to wonder what is causing this effect. This, and um, clearly people were moving more slowly, they seemed to have a more relaxed life, they were working in the fields during the day, but what was the most striking thing was the diet. People were eating everything local, stuff that came from the river, from the jungle, they had their own little gardens, the manioc and so on. And then I started to realize that it wasn't just the foods itself, it was the recipes, the way the foods were put together and the way they were eaten in the day and the, the communal way they were eaten, the quantity that was eaten and so on. And that this was truly the healing secret that was causing this jungle effect. One question that a lot of people ask me that I think is really important, um, I travel around the world and I touch on indigenous diets from a lot of different cultures, so pretty much any of us listening to a lecture can find one diet that is similar to our ancestry, but the reality is that we're from many, many different places, and by the time most of us have been in the U.S. for a couple generations, we really are mutts, you know, and so a lot of people ask, Am I supposed to be eating a diet that matches my ancestry? Is that the healthiest way for me to do this? And the answer really is no. I said, I'd much rather you eat to your taste buds rather than your genes. And to find a traditional diet in a set of recipes or several diets, travel around the globe every week the way I do, but eat anything but our standard American diet. What we, you know, the uh, McDonald's and french fries or the pizza that isn't at all a real pizza that's smothered in cheese and white bread or the fake taco which isn't at all the kind of taco you would get traditionally served in a village in Mexico. Those are the things that are, I would call standard American that we need to move away from. All the refined flours and so on and really start to look not only at these recipes that we've been handed down generation after generation but the traditions and the ways that they are eaten in the day as well.